Hey, did I call it on the shock mount or what? Hi, today we are going to be reviewing the newer CM14. First, I want to talk about how I tested the microphone. What I wanted to do is I wanted to give a real world review and test. So what I did is I was outside in a regular neighborhood where there was lots of ambient sounds, things like birds chirping, lawnmowers going, wind kind of blowing around. And I wanted to make sure that I tested how the microphone would handle those sounds and whether it would be picking up all that or whether my voice would actually be the most prominent thing that it would be hearing. And I also wanted to see how the microphone would, would be rejecting sounds on the side and also the back as well. So this way it's focusing mostly on what is in front of the mic and not what is all around the mic. Another thing that I wanted to do when I was testing out the microphone is I wanted to make sure that I wasn't facing directly toward something like a brick wall or something like that that would just reflect noise directly back at me. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to face out towards my neighbor's yard, which is probably about a good football field uh, wide. So this way, when I'm basically speaking out that way, I won't get hardly any echo coming back that is going to alter my test. Now, is it perfect? No. But do I feel that it's actually a decent test for the real world for people that want to do vlogging on a GoPro or on their phone or something? I actually think it's not that bad. So what I want to do is when I was testing, I was testing about a foot away from my face. I'm going to turn around sideways over here. So I had it about, about this far away from my face, which is about a foot away. And I would have that directly over my phone that I had over here like this. So this way I can basically show a video, which is probably how most people will be doing vlogs and stuff like that, where they're just holding the phone out this way and trying to capture their face and not a ton of their background and the mic is going to be approximating this position if you actually had a, a holder for it. Something that I did want to do is I wanted to make sure that when I was testing the microphone I was actually testing it using the things that came in the package with it. So for example what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that I used the lightning jack adapter that came with the microphone and I also wanted to use the cable that they included with the microphone as well. Now possibly if you use super high-end cables, maybe it'll make a difference. Probably won't, but I wanted to make sure that I was giving a fair test of the entire kit that you got. So what I did was I attached the, the shock mount directly to this little tripod mount. So this way I wouldn't be handling the mic directly, causing a lot of different uh, sounds whenever I moved or, or slid my finger along the actual microphone. So theoretically the shock mount should actually dampen any sounds and it should make it so that so that the only thing you hear is just the sound coming in. You don't hear every single time that my hand shifts slightly on the actual tripod over here. And what I was doing is I was basically just holding it out just like this. So it was about a foot from my face and I was taking the videos this way when I was doing my testing. And what I did was I did tests where it was facing directly towards me. And then I did another test where I had it directly to the side. Then I did another test where it was directly away from me. Then I did another test where it is facing to the other side. Now theoretically both sides should be about the same, but just for completeness I want to make sure that I included both with that. Also for my testing what I did was I did a test where I used just the plain microphone outside. Then I also did a test with the included windscreen over here. And I also did another test where I where I used the dead cat on there as well. And I'm gonna be including all those all those short little video clips so you can hear the differences between the sound of the bare mic, the mic with the windscreen, and the mic with the dead cat. And also for reference, the the sound from my iPhone 7. And the last test that I did was was I did a shock mount test where I basically held held the the um, the microphone up and I was doing my my vlogging this way. And then I would and then I would basically tap the side over here and tap over here to see how much of those taps actually got translated up into the microphone. So that's what I was doing with the shock mount test. So right now this is the test with without the newer CM14. This is just the raw audio on the 
on the iPhone 7 Plus. Hi, this is Kenji and we are doing a audio test of the newer CM14 with no windscreen. The microphone is about a foot from my face, just above the camera, and we are testing this on the iPhone 7 Plus and it is facing directly towards me right now. So testing, testing, testing. I'm going to turn it to the right just a little bit, so it's 90 degrees to me. Testing, testing, testing. Now I am facing it completely away from me. Testing, testing, testing. And now I'm facing it to the left side of me. Testing, testing, testing. And now it's facing directly back towards me again. Hi, this is Kenji, and right now we are going to be testing with the newer CM14 with the small foam windscreen. As you can see, it is the one right here. So this is how it sounds when it sounds directly towards me. Testing, testing, testing. Now I have it turned to the right, this way over here. Testing, testing, testing. Now I have it facing completely away from me. Testing, testing, testing. Now I have it turned to my left side. Testing, testing, testing. And now I have it turned right back towards me again. Testing, testing, testing. So this is how the newer CM14 sounds with just the foam windscreen. Right now we are testing the newer CM14 with the dead cat on it. You can see right here. But this is how the audio sounds from it. Testing, testing, testing. Now I'm going to turn it to the right so it's 90 degrees to me. Testing, testing, testing. Now I have it directly facing away from me. Testing, testing, testing. And to the left. Testing, testing, testing. And now it is facing direct towards me again. And right now I want to test to see how the shock mount of the newer CM14 actually is and whether small taps and things like that to the base of the small tripod that I'm holding right over here, if I tap the base just a little bit, whether that is translating into sounds in the microphone. So let's see how that sounds. Here we go. Do I like the microphone? I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's too bad. It definitely has a pretty good pickup and it has a decent noise rejection, especially noise rejection from things behind the microphone and definitely has a decent noise rejection on the sides. Is it better in sound quality to the raw audio coming out of the iPhone 7X? I think it's a little better. It's better when you use the dead cat on it. So first let's talk about how good the noise rejection is. The noise rejection from the sides are pretty decent. How my voice coming from the side of the microphone is a lot less than what it is coming directly from the front. And when you turn the microphone completely around backwards, my voice is extremely low compared to when the mic is facing directly towards me. So let's talk about the windscreen. The included windscreen is okay. It helps to muffle some of the wind coming through, but I did hear some of the gentle breeze coming through this. So if you are in any sort of windy environment, I definitely suggest that you use the dead cat. Let's talk about the dead cat now. The dead cat works pretty well. When I was doing a side-by-side -side test, constantly switching back and forth between you know, uh, windscreen and the dead cat and then the raw microphone and the dead cat, the raw microphone and the dead cat. When I kept going back and forth, it almost sounded a little bit like the dead cat was muffling the sound a little bit, but it could just be that I'm just going back and forth too much. But I must admit that the dead cat worked pretty well with stopping a lot of the wind coming through. If you don't want to change the sound of the microphone too much, the, the smaller windscreen over here works pretty well with not really changing the sound of the microphone at all. It sounds very, very similar to just the microphone without any sort of windscreen on it. If you're nervous about the sound of the microphone changing too much, then you gotta be a little bit careful with the dead cat because the dead cat definitely changed the sound of the microphone. And not necessarily in a bad way, but you can tell from the audio samples that there is a change. And I don't think it's just the change from the wind either. So let's talk about the shock mount now. The shock mount, when I was unboxing this, I was looking at the shock mount and I was noticing that the shock mount was, it's sturdy. 
I'm definitely gonna say that the shock mount is sturdy. It's, it feels like a very rigid sort of plastic. Uh, you can flex it a little bit, but I wouldn't necessarily say that this shock mount is, is really absorbing any shock. Maybe it's just a microphone holder and it's not actually a shock mount because if they advertise this as a shock mount, I don't think it's really living up to what a shock mount really should do. In my test, what I was doing is I was actually tapping, tapping this part over here, tapping this over here, and all those sounds were translating up into the microphone. And I don't think there was really hardly any dampening of those taps at all. If you just need a microphone holder and you're not actually using this as a shock mount, I think this will work and it'll actually work pretty pretty well and it's because it's sturdy you don't don't really have to worry about this breaking too much either so am i happy with the newer cm14 microphone i would actually say for the 22 dollars and 78 cents that i spent i'm pretty happy with it it's not bad you would spend a decent amount just on the various accessories that you got with the microphone i really can't expect much from a 22 dollar microphone and would I buy this again? I think I might, because even if I get my DVD D4 Duo, that mic will most likely be better. I will definitely include a video where I compare the two. But sometimes mics fail in the field and you need a backup. And having a little mic like this as a backup is never a bad thing, especially when you could just spend $22 and throw it in your kit where you don't have to worry about that. If you happen to own one of these, I'm actually kind of curious what you thought about the audio quality on it. Do you really feel that the audio quality is a lot better than using just the microphone on your iPhone or on the GoPro? Definitely leave me a comment below because I'm really curious to see what your thoughts are. Well, I hope this review on the newer CM14 was really helpful to you. If you can just give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Until next time, take care. We're CM14. Is this backwards? It's upside down. Facing, I keep putting it backwards. Oh, my nose is so itchy.